Ah. Um, let me try that again. Less coffee. Hello, my name is Andrew Morgan Smith, and I wanted to talk to you today about why getting picture lock is so important and... Yeah, I mean, that's it. Picture lock is when you finish editing your project. Finished. No more trimming, no more nothing. No more changes. I know sometimes that's hard. Sometimes you have to do client notes, producer notes, network notes. You have to make sure that they get heard and they get addressed. Everyone's at a point where they say, all right, this is all done. We can move on. It really is important that you get all those approvals before you start anything else. But Andrew, why does it matter? I do whatever I want. What if I wake up one morning and I decide I want to change the entire storyline? Why can't I take a hacksaw to the edit and then therefore throw off everything you've been working on for the last couple months? That's a good question. Don't do that unless it's absolutely necessary. Everyone that is in post requires that locked edit. Everyone from sound, VFX, colorist, everybody needs that locked cut. We don't want to do extra work and then we have to change what we just did. Maybe even do major revisions or changes to what we just did. Then, gently. I've been on projects where the VFX, the composer, and the mixer, as well as the colorist, all had different cuts of the movie, and we didn't know that until we went to deliver the movie. Even minute changes, even though they seem small as a director or as an editor, have a big compounding effect. If I'm working in a queue and everything is landing nicely on the beat because that's how I engineered it to work, and then you go and shuffle all your ins and outs, something that may have nicely landed on a beat before may not, and I have to problem solve that. And that then becomes a problem for you. Maybe something flowed really nicely and we both liked the cue, but now I have to chop it up and maybe it doesn't flow as nicely. And obviously I would do my best to make it work whatever way I can, but it's extra work that doesn't help your picture. Another problem, if you change one little piece of a reel or maybe even a whole movie, you're gonna throw the time code off and the timing of everything else behind that. I had worked in a movie where they had opening credit card and it was five seconds long. And I reached out to the director and I said, hey, is that the actual length? Like, did you lock it and time it out so you know how long it is? Or is that a placeholder? And he's like, oh, it's a placeholder. And I said, okay, but do you know how long it'll be? No, he doesn't have a locked picture because he doesn't know how long that shot's supposed to be. He has no idea. So whenever he changes that, we're gonna have to make sure we account for that change through every single part of that movie which just ups your chances of having a problem. And when you change time code, it makes it more complicated as well, because I want to make sure the director and producer are all looking at my cues the way I see them, because I like to share my cues with just the audio and the time code, so that way they can plug it in and turn it up and down. But I can't be that confident if they are, if they're moving things around, how am I supposed to know that it's right? This doesn't mean that composers can't work before a picture is fully locked. We can work from reels. If you have a locked reel or a locked part of the movie, then we'll just have to know, hey, this is the only locked part and move on from there. Also, whenever picture's not fully locked, I'd love to watch it and start getting ideas and getting themes going. And maybe you can use some of those themes in your timeline. So that way you have a better idea. Okay, this is how it's gonna feel. These are actually pieces of the score that are in the edit. Another thing to keep in mind, is my stomach growling? Can you hear that? Another thing to keep in mind is whenever I'm writing, I'm, another reason, Another reason to keep it. <clears throat> <coughs> hmm. If you hear a stomach growling, it's me. Another thing to keep in mind is I'm not just dropping music under picture. Um, film music doesn't have the phrasing of a normal pop track where you have verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus. I'm trying to write to what's happening on screen. So it's very tailored to your project. So whenever you start moving timings, it can have a really big cascading effect. That one little motif of a character's theme that fell whenever that person saw them may not be there anymore. And we have to try and figure out how to move it around and make it work. As a pro, we try to make it always work. But the best way to operate, the best way to make sure you get the best possible product is to just lock that picture down, get it to everybody who needs it, and then go from there. If you have any questions, please leave them in a comment. I would love to respond and have more additional ideas for videos. Um, geez, is my stomach still growling? That's crazy. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Stop it.